All right, so playing my first round of the big uh, annual tournament. Um, against Fierce Lord. So this is the round of 128. Uh, the format is the same as the past two years in that there's a big single elimination bracket. The matches are played best of, sort of pseudo best of six, best of seven. Um, you first of four or first of 3.5, I think, wins. Um, in that sense, it's pseudo first to six or first to six. And then the, there's this, you know, rule with the the ending um, or the seventh if you get to a seventh game with ties going to the second player but anyway um all right so let's look at the board it has captain but no cantrip targets um or no non-terminal targets no villages and no there's no price reduction to get missed again on the action. Um, <coughs> so it doesn't look incredible, to be honest. There is drawn by and big payload if you get to fortune. Um, Which would incline me to build with Alchemist, but you can have some. I guess Captain as your Nomad Camp allows you to get additional buys as well, so that could be nice. Um, I'm going to open Potion, I think. See if he gets. He does get the five, so he gets. Um, to buy a witch. I might have opened count, but I'm just going to buy a count. I got really good draws, um, apart from the fact that, of course, I'm going to start taking these curses. Uh, but perfect, perfect draws for me. His have been quite good as well, and his witches are hitting at the start. Um, this isn't ideal. Bottom deck count and alchemist is going to hurt a little bit. Trying to think if I want to start lowering yet or not, or attempt to start. Well, I can guarantee, I guess. Um, If only you could smuggle alchemists. Um, I could probably lower again. I don't believe he has a silver. It's not super clear to me that there's an advantage to that. I'm not even sure I want to buy the mystic, to be honest, but. He's cleanish. Um, I'm bottom decking alchemists, which hurts. He's drawn deck. Um, 
This was pretty fortunate. There's probably as many curses as anything in here. Well, okay, it's that count. This is going to give me a big trash, which is great. Can just trash all of this stuff. Trash this silver. I don't really want this silver anymore. <coughs> I don't especially want this silver. Now, of course, I could draw. How many curses are in the trash one? So there's another curse in here. Curse potion. Mystic. Copper. I probably should have just done the top decking, but. I do feel like he probably would have been better off if he had built some instead of just buying one alchemist when he's already super drawing deck and giving me a curse, but that's just me. <coughs> Which he does this time. It feels like he probably ought to have been doing that before this, but um, not totally clear to me. He buys a smugglers, which is Not like the best thing ever. Um, count would be okay here. Obviously, if there had been an alchemist on top, that would have been nice. But My question now will be whether I want to reveal the Whether I want to reveal the fortune this turn or wait. Uh, 
Um, I can wait. I can just gain a mystic. This would be a good trashing turn. <coughs> Top deck the, the potion and finish the trashing. Maybe I should have revealed it would have been pretty good to buy for Well, I wouldn't have had the money for it. Um. Do I want a second captain? I mean, it's better than count, right? I guess the thing is it doesn't do much for me this turn um and this upcoming turn on the other hand if I'm buying a fortune I also don't really want to let him smuggle one to be honest He has a lot of terminals. <coughs> so now at this point, in pretty good shape. I'll have to figure out whether I want to fight him on the mystics here. Or when when exactly I want to reveal the gladiator. Because, like, I can, well, depends on what he buys. Like, I can double Mystic here, and then he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a target. A smuggler's target on his next turn, although. I have to think. We can draw deck first, anyway. He's not going to have whatever thing, potion or count in hand, because he doesn't have the... Um, I guess if I buy the fortune, he still doesn't have a... S well, he'll have gold, is it? No, he won't. He won't have a smuggler's target if I do it this way. That seems okay. Um... My uh, captain here will probably be nomad camp. I mean, it it'll be about the same no matter what. Pricing the smugglers will probably be similar. Well, it depends. Um, and I can well, I don't know how much money I'll have exactly. Twenty. So I can play the count for money. <coughs> so I'll probably have enough to go like double Mystic Province. Something like that. 
depending on what he does. But. Okay. Yeah, this will be the nomad camp. It would be nice. I might as well use the count top decking for the last alchemist. I don't need to draw here. I guess just triple province is also not unreasonable. I mean, I don't have the buys. Like, adding the mystic doesn't really help me. Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't have the buys to to use that, so... Six, if I can triple again, six provinces will be plenty. Um, I don't know exactly how much money he'll have here, if he'll be able to triple or not. I kind of think he's probably at double, but maybe he's at triple. <coughs> well, he can't play the count on top, right? So I may not even have triple again. No, I should. Never mind, I should with the Nomad Camp. Um. I'm not guaranteed to try everything. I may have to gain a copper or something or top deck a province. He bought the mystics up. Yeah, this is looking okay for me. Um, I have everything I really want in hand except for additional mystics. So I guess the last two are just mystics. Um Oh yeah, I'm not even playing count. <coughs> I think this would have been a lot closer if he had Added economy when he was doing the the witch plays <coughs> instead of just doing witch by another alchemist while he was already drawing his whole deck. Um, makes it, uh, I mean, that you just fall behind that way. <coughs> um. I can smuggle, but I'll just play the Nomad Camp. Is, or he's resigning, okay. Um, Alright, so first game was for me. Um, and he went first. So... Now I get to... This has Library Villa, which is certainly a thing as long as the villas are still around. I mean, it's the thing after the villas are gone. It's just less of a thing <coughs> once the villas disappear. Um, Vampire looks okay here. Um, yeah, there's not like a great terminal to play in this sort of dis the Strata X thing. 
you can play some fortune tellers. That's pretty underwhelming, but it may still be worth doing. Um, beyond that, yeah, I mean, like if they don't contest this a little bit, then you get to do the villa tricks a lot longer. And they're pretty stinking good. Um, I don't know, though. I mean, it's a kind of a hard opening, though, because you don't have... The opening options aren't incredible. I actually kind of buy a fortune teller. This will be a vampire. Um, he follows on the for fortune teller. This will probably be... I guess it's either second vampire or like summon. That really hurts. That's like a brutal fortune teller. That's like, I had like crazy good draws. Turns three, four here. And, and then luck on the fortune teller thing. Like that's just bonkers. Good, good luck. Not, not fair. Um, probably go with, uh, especially, yeah, yeah, and I'm flipping them again. I guess stonemason, it could be a, I mean, not stonemason, I guess seller, it could be a trade route, but I'm going to say no to that. Um. And then, of course, I'm double hitting him here. All right. Um, I'm thinking just double library, to be honest. It could be one cartographer. Um. This will be a summon for a mining village. He's got a second seller, which is... The second seller is not a great seller, typically. I mean, the first seller is not typically great either, but... Um, the first seller at least makes makes a reasonable amount of sense. Um, I'm gonna get a second fortune teller. Um, silver might have made more sense. Um trying to think how many of these I should discard. I would like to get to a library, which would suggest just go ahead and do all of them. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start on the villa here and probably get a second one because there's another one in here. Um, Uh, how many cards am I drawing? I would like to draw the bat, so I think I'll skip it. Oh, I guess it didn't matter because I was going to draw it anyway. Um, so this is already pretty ridiculous. It might have been better. I might have wanted to actually trash the mining village there and get a platinum, but uh, I'm going to add a gold. And then the vampire could be a 
few different things. Holy cow. I'm getting just broken draws here. Oh, it could just be another library. Unless I draw a bunch of the night cards, I'll be able to find enough money to do the villa trick again. Which at some point, I might as well keep these, like I'll be able to play it, right? Uh, sure, I'll keep it. Might be better to it might be better to keep the coppers. I'm not sure about that, but uh would have been I guess I can just buy the fortune teller here at the end. This is underplaying it a little bit, almost certainly. Um, but I don't think it's worth it to spend the time at this point. This is a bad draw for me. My first bad draw of the game, I think. And of course, it's still like okay ish. Um, I'll probably just summon the old uh, mining village again. Now the vampires are like, I don't really need additional libraries. I, Cause I, I mean, I can add more platinum still, but eventually I just don't get to do the villa trick anymore. Uh, I also haven't been looking at all for stonemasons, so uh, maybe there was a point where that was a thing to do, but. but I have not been paying good attention for it. Um, let's see if we can find a library. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Uh, Could be doing this very differently. This was not at all ideal, but not enough to gain and play. This should be.
in here I guess I'll start greening a little bit I don't I don't know I, I haven't really been looking for three piles um, that's something I could try to look for I could probably get one, but it's more work than it's worth it in my mind. can get pretty close right now. I have like so many platinum. Um. Can I, I can get the villas? I can empty. Yeah, it's just feels like work to try and find it. I'm sure it's there, but <coughs> I'll probably here I might look for it. Yeah, I might as well try now. Should have played that cartographer first, of course. Um. I had like, 
my turn three four were so lucky. Yeah, I was just sort of clicking through at the end there. I'm sure there are lots of different things that were incorrect if you're trying to maximize or, or I probably could have finished it quicker or whatever. Um, but I was just sort of clicking through. Uh, okay, there's Lost in Arts. I was kind of trying to look and figure out what the thing to do here is, but there's Lost Arts, so you can just build and build and build. In whatever way, so probably Lost Arts on Cultist is pretty reasonable. Um, I'm not sure about the track or not, to be honest. It's good once you've got the Lost Arts on the Cultist. I mean, it's going to be good throughout the game. It's just not super great on the opening. Um... I would say I don't really want an embargo to be honest um, I'm going to try the tracker I'm sort of ambivalent about it but it's, it's probably okay ish I mean if you get real lucky and you hit 5 with it when you have a He did get to play his transmogrified turn three, so that's nice for him. Um, I'm just going to hit four again here. I mean, it's a good draw for me. Like, I'm okay with it happening this way. Obviously, if the tracker wasn't there, it wouldn't, like, have helped me particularly. Um, What did I buy transmog? I probably should have just went ahead and bought the silver. But... If this, if he only has one estate in hand, I like this play a lot. Um, okay, he's got the money. I was going to say, if it, if it was preventing him from hitting, oh, this is only three. I was, okay, I was confused, of course. Obviously, since I had four, I didn't have it this time. Um, oh, that's nice for him. So he is uh, definitely a little bit ahead, I would say. Um, I will get to top deck a cultist here. It's not like totally crazy to top deck something else, but it's bad. <laughs> um, I could lost arts them, but that's worse, than, I think, than just top decking one at this stage. Hopefully, we draw the six here. Um, we do so now I'm pretty willing to lost arts them um, I still like his position better than mine um, I'm probably buying nothing here I dislike the festival quite a lot. Uh, I don't think the silver really helps me. Maybe he only, I mean, I'm assuming he only had six, but like, I'm not a huge fan of that. This could have been tracker actually. That would have been that would have been reasonable. I wonder if it'll let me undo it. No, that doesn't work. I'm confused. Unless I get Fields Gift, it doesn't work. Um or some other thing that I think it's the only one, but or or whatever forests. Yeah, I was thinking this is like a copper, but it's not. It's looking like he's gonna give me the last runes as well. So the split went quite bad for me. Um, 
I really don't want that. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to come back from this unless he plays it really weird. <coughs> there's certainly a lot to build, so and there's all VP, but I'm uh, kind of worried the the piles will put me in an awkward spot. This is just sort of a pain, right, because I think I've got a cultist in the bottom here. Um, I don't know what else is with it. I don't know if the other card with it generates coin or not. Um, Because in theory, I would really rather just have the cultists. Like, this isn't helping me much. Um, if that cultist is literally bottom decked, I would... Uh, I mean, I can buy another transmog here, and those will help eventually make the turns a little less cruddy. I think I'm just going to top deck it. This isn't the best. M abandoned mine would be awesome, but this unfortunately isn't super ideal. Um, so I don't know what it was. I guess it was either, I don't think it was the transmog, right? Because I had just called it a little bit before. So it was either copper or abandoned mine. So abandoned mine wouldn't have worked, um, but copper would have. Maybe the split isn't as bad as I thought, because he's kind of having some bad turns here, too. But it felt bad. It felt like it was pretty rotten. Uh, okay. This is nice in that... Well, it's not really. <laughs> I take that back. For some reason, I thought it was up to five, but... Um, well, this part's okay. I'm going to be able to transmogrify this thing into a 5. I would be pretty, I don't think he's going to, but I would be pretty happy if he triggered a shuffle. <laughs> he got pretty close. I would have been very, very happy if he had managed to... Oh, he did do it. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy. Um, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but these two turns won't be very good for him. Won't be that good for him, I don't think. Unless there may be a, a cultist in there. I'm not really sure exactly where the split is. I dislike his festivals quite a lot. Um, stables or hunting grounds would be pretty considerably better, I think, in my opinion. I mean, I can just like bottom deck whatever garbage. I probably. I need to figure out if I can afford a hunting grounds yet or if I should just keep hitting the cultists because the bigger draw would be really nice. I don't know if I have the enough cultists to really get the village effect yet. Um, so I'm still inclined to go for them. I think his festivals would have been so nice if they had been tables or hunting grounds. He gets another transmog. I'll try and keep my eye out for a talisman transmog thing. Um, pile out, sneak pile out. Okay, he's moving into the castles. 
That seems reasonable to me. Bottom card is ruined. I need to get a five here, so I'm going to, I guess, m change the survivors into a copper and go ahead and draw the ruined village or whatever the thing was I stuck down here. It's, oh, I was going to say, my, my money kind of froze for a second. Okay, so I think I like a cult or a stables now. I would have certainly purchased a um, hunting grounds if I had hit six, but. What is he buying? Crumbling Castle and Tracker. It's reasonable. So this has some downside potential, but some nice upside, which I got the upside. Um, I mean, I kind of have to play for that kind of stuff at this stage. I'm I feel okay as long as he continues to green while I build um you know the the this won't be a super easy pile for him to finish off I wouldn't think so it gives me some time and he's adding trackers and I, I guess that he's angling for a three pile on the trackers I'm not sure uh what exactly that maneuver is intended to do it's not totally clear to me anyway um secret passage i guess i could play it first there's something to play in it first and something to play in it second i'd say um but playing it first gives you a little more chances of doing this is really not great Missing five here is not super fun. Which, of course, I, I mean, I did it by making the, the silver a secret passage. This is somewhat problematic. gonna haunt me can live with it I guess I mean what is that I'm just do I have a transmog down oh I do have a trans well whatever I'll save it apparently I didn't really get the setup I could have gone stables into my cunning grounds or something but uh, I don't know if I have another cultist in here. It feels like I do, and I think the honey... I don't remember when I got the honey ground, if it was in this shelf or the next. Apparently not this one. Um, this is a shuffle that's not worth triggering. So this has just got to be another stables for me. Again, he doesn't have a huge number of points yet, um, and his deck is not getting cleaner. I mean, if he if he's able to kind of move through these castles, then there'll be a problem. But like again, I can ca catch him in points until he hits these next three castles. They're going to be trouble. So like, small castle is going to be a bit of a problem because that's going to give him a lot of points. Um, If I thought I could, like, this feels like it should be transmogging something. Um, it's not totally clear to me what my path to victory is. I was just trying to play for 
better building for a little bit. Um, but at some point I have to figure out how to score points, whether that's via um, transmogging hunting grounds or whatever it is. Transmogging cultists, something like that. Um, So that's pretty good. That's about as many um, village effects as I'm really likely to need, to be honest. I probably won't need the pouch. <coughs> so this is going to be my first, like, really nice turn. And it's still going to be a little bit not that nice. Don't want to put too much garbage down here. I don't know if there's another cultist. Um, pouch. We're actually getting to the point where the pouch would have been nice. So that's depressing-ish. I can put a cultist down here. Yeah, the pouch would have been good. I probably should have tossed a silver because this isn't great. I don't remember if there's a cultist down here or not. If there is, I would just play through, to be honest. Um, I could put a transmog down. Oh, wait, I called it. There should be a four in there, shouldn't there? Yeah, that's not ideal. Apparently, I'm going with play on. Uh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> this will at least allow me to transmogrify something. I can transmogrify that uh, festival. And then top deck up. This is a little scary. It's not clear that I can actually get anything out of this. Anything useful. And I'm not sure that I really... What has he got on trend? Yeah, I'm not sure that I want to lower these or these. Yeah, I wish I had buy. I should have kept the pouch. That was a screw up. On the other hand, if he gets the turns to empty, then I'm probably lost anyways. I feel like there's a cultist, but I'm not 100% sure. If there might be a cultist, then I'm definitely not uh, playing the the library. There was a cultist, so...
So this will go f passage into festival. Okay, he missed there. That's nice. He probably top decks on hunting grounds. He ought to top deck on hunting grounds. I think. Well, he can try and run piles now if he wants. That's not impossible either, I guess. Though if he was going to do that, he did the wrong, slightly wrong thing. I mean, I guess what, he, he can't double secret passage, so that's not the best thing ever. Um, yeah, I, I like that buy for him. He may get a chance to, I don't think I have a pile out. I can get six points, but that's not going to pile out, so. Um. Okay. That was lucky draw on the cultists. Okay, so I ought to get a decent amount of money here. Um, if his next turn is really bad, which it has some limits to how bad it can possibly be, but... Um, this next turn is really bad. I kind of have a shot. Most likely just piles. I should not have gotten this secret passage that I got. I think that was clearly a, a blunder of some sort. Okay. I don't know if there are any top deck looking things still, but... Okay, so we're going to draw further. My problem is I would, in theory, like to build again an additional turn. I could take the Sprawling Castle. Um, I may do that if I get the money. I don't know what's left. Yeah, okay. So we're going to want to top deck that guy. So there's a trying to think if I do the sprawling castle if that makes it easier for him to pile probably doesn't really change it much but he's you know if he has cultists in hand he's just gonna finish off the secret passages. He didn't chain, so okay, so he's not ending here. He does get the sprawling castle, which is worth like eight points for him. That's gonna make it hard. Um <coughs> I can try for the finish here. What that looks like is calling transmogrify on hunting grounds twice. Um But I can also wait. So I would call call it on hunting grounds twice, and then I would try and play for the um, the estate pile out, which would require me to buy a province as well. I don't know that I'm going to get a better shot than that, so I would need to draw pretty much as much money as I drew last turn because I have to be able to I'm trying to look and see if there's like a simpler one but or a similar one I can wait but I wish I was if I was deck tracking a little better 
I can go look and see how many cultists he played on some of these turns, but I think he's got the cultists now, so let's go for it. This could easily just dud out immediately. Um, <clears throat> yep. Well, I mean, pretty dudded. He has to somehow fail to buy two estates now. I think it was a reasonable go. Um, but I'm just not getting it really ever. Yeah, I mean, I can't stop him from... I didn't even need that much money though either cuz cuz of the annex. Getting the second duchy was fairly simple. I guess I was pretty close to it actually. I was It's like a just only a few dollars shy. Um cuz I just needed 9. Well, and, and the buys, so that's not quite as trivial. Actually, I don't even know if I have those bides in, in deck. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, he's just going to finish the estates here. One would assume. Okay. Maybe not. Nope, there's his pouch. That's funny <laughs> that he just, like, barely got it with the pouch. Uh, okay. So that's one for him. I don't I don't know that I had the buys period. It's like I needed four buys. Well, if it was a province I only needed. It was like three buys with more money or four buys with less money. So it was it was possible. I just had to find the cultists. Um Unfortunately, it sort of looks like if I had just waited a turn, I might have got it just straight up. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know exactly how much to build here. Because there's not. There's not huge quantities of payload. Well, it's just there's no village, so that makes it tough. Um, but you can do labs and wharfs, of course, and then just money. The question is, do you want any of these terminals with that? Maybe the opening is really raised silos, but he opens picture. So you definitely want to open the rays um, if you have the 2-5, but he goes with count. I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't probably bother with count here. This is like the first game I didn't have very good. Um, I should have bought a silos, but I'll buy one here. I didn't have very good luck on the uh, opening sh reshuffles. Or not great anyway. 
Um, the silos here, of course, can just totally miss five. Um, but you gotta cycle. Yeah. I guess I can buy a patrician. These are pretty there's there's this uh masterpiece conquest thing to do as well. So hopefully well this is guaranteed now. Okay. Um let's get a wharf. I feel fine about my stats. I mean, he's like ahead, but not like hugely. I mean, he's going to be over trash for what you want to do here, I think. In my opinion. You do need lots of labs, so it, he is doing well to get those. And the patricians will be okay as well if you have the labs um, and the gold. Um, I expect that you, what you would like to do here is like a really big masterpiece and two conquests if you're going to do your three buys. Um, that's, I mean, at least maybe you do that once or something. I do feel like he's a little bit over-trashed. Um, in my opinion. But we'll see what he, what he goes for. Like, if he buys a wharf now, I mean, what, what is he going to buy now? He's got to get money. Um... I'm not sure exactly how I ought to build here, though, other than adding labs. I mean, you can kind of conquest as you go along as well if you want. You can score some as you go along. But five is not the ideal number here for economy stuff. Yeah, like that. And then and then you play the wharf, and what? It draws nothing, and then it, the duration draws nothing, and I don't I don't think so. I don't believe in that anyway. Um. So I can either have what is it, nine or eight. Eight is okay. I can do lab silver. Seems all right. The shuffle triggers are fine so far from the silos because I just have a silos the next turn, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, like here, what, he has $5 again, he plays a wharf. It's just, no, he just bought a wharf that he's not even playing. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, Masterpiece now is, that makes sense, um, but, you know. I could have saved some of those so that the patrician had some kind of outside chance of drawing. Um, here I have nine or... Sorry, more than that. N 11 or 10. 11 might be better. Um, this time. Probably is better to trash, to be honest, but.
It was good that he got the masterpiece money that time. I don't know if I'm going to want to do the masterpiece at some point. I could have done it. I could have done it at some point. Wouldn't have been absurd. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to trash. I didn't calculate it, but. So I can do. I can do Gold Patrician Lab. Is pretty good. Probably. It can also be the three silvers. I feel like you just want a condensed. I could do gold patrician um, emporium. You know, the, the Patrician or the Emporium points aren't that great. Probably it should have been a lab. I mean, at least I have the Wharf in hand, um, so I'm not missing that. But I mean, it's okay to get the Emporium points because just, you know, the points are nice. And then um, you know, you uh, okay. So that was it. Well, actually, it was fine. I mean, I don't get to do the Emporium. That wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense here, but... But I at least didn't miss the, the Wharf play. That would have hurt. This was not great, but... I'll still be able to do okay here. What did he buy last time? Just Emporium and Raise. He just doesn't have that much money still. Like, I'll get the last two Emporiums here in another lab or something. How much money do I want to have? I really don't need more than, like, 18 is, like, max I care about this turn, and I don't want 18 even, so, like, 16 is max I care about. 7, and I don't have to have that much even, so. Five, eight, four. It's 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's one copper, that's 18, so we can then go down to 16 is okay. Obviously, I'm making my silos sad, but that doesn't matter now. <coughs> so I have a small points lead and then a big deck lead. This will be probably three labs, maybe lab lab gold. He can conquest, that's fine with me. I'm going to save my... Um, Conquesting for something bigger. Okay, yeah, we palm deck one. Uh, level three, twelve, eighteen, twenty-one. Yeah, we don't need that much. Pardon me.
Could have been double cooler lat. I mean, could have swapped the buy a little bit, but. He can do those. They're just like so much smaller than what you can do if you if you build up, and he's still not threatening piles or anything. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't think I'm missing a three pile somewhere. can always triple province, but like... <laughs> the three labs is pretty funny. That's pretty unlikely, actually, but it's okay. Um, okay, we have lots and lots of overdraw if we find it. I mean... There is a little bit of a problem with that. Um, so right now I can do, if I do double conquest, I'm minus 12 from that, so it's 11. I can do an 8, which gives me 22 points. Um, this would give me more. I don't know how else to... I mean, once I do it once, I can just switch and do provinces or whatever. I'll probably just go ahead and do it next turn. Here at least we have the labs in the first hand. So we're going to draw everything. Uh, probably won't play the raise. Might as well make this as big as we can. I guess I won't be able to double them. I guess I should check to make sure this isn't like missing a pile or causing a pile to lose. What is 12 minus this is 17. So, but I only need to do 15. Or no, I only need to do uh, 13 of them. Right, so 16. That works. That's a dollar to spare. I think. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, 
he did uh, he did a similar thing um, in the first game. Um, I'm also going to be right back. I probably there could have just like emptied the provinces faster than the thing I did, but I kind of wanted to do the the masterpiece conquest thing once, or at least build towards it if you if you let me if you didn't resign. Um, yeah, in that game you did a similar thing you did in the first game where he got clean, but he was he didn't have economy and he bought draw pieces. Um, there he didn't do as many turns, but he did one turn where he bought a wharf that he didn't even play the next turn, and that uh, wouldn't have done him much good even if he had played it. So and it wouldn't have done him much good for a while, right? He just didn't have the size of deck where the draw made any sense. Um, I mean, I had overdraw, but and and without a lot of nice things really to do with it, there wasn't gain in play or anything, but. Part of that was just the size of my deck was so huge that if you don't have some overdraw, you're going to dud. Um, fairly, fairly often, actually. Or not fairly often, but, you know, somewhat often. All right, so uh, this game five. This has got stables. Five two would be really nice. Um... Tormentor opening to get an imp or two would be quite, quite nice. Let's see what the druid has. Nothing that interesting. I mean, they're fine, but they're not. Um, the challenge would be that they're fine, but they're not great. So we got colony board too. That's that's good. Basically, you just need stables here. Um, Marauder has what is canal is the price lowering okay the uh, uh, Marauder isn't super good because of advance that makes it kind of significantly less good the so I'm gonna go lone salvager I think and then so I think I'm gonna skip Marauder. Maybe you can add it later. I mean, you can add it where the if their deck's big enough where the ruins aren't like showing up all that often. But if they're drawing their deck, then that's not gonna work. So seems hard. Um, basically, a stable split is like the most important thing here by far. Um, and then in that sense, you might want to open Silver Salvager. I can see that. Your copper trashing could come from, say, your research or something later on. Not that the research is a great copper trasher. Because um, you are going to need to buy silvers, so the loan is less appealing in that sense. Um, 
it still would have made some sense to be honest. But I'm kind of hoping he buys the Marauder. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure the best way to make use of advance here. He gets a loan now. I think that's reasonable. This is a druid. You can do with druids if you want to try the advanced stuff. Well, you could just buy them. If you wanted to buy something that intention intending to use advance on it, then the druid or the runes, I guess, both make something similar sense, which may not be much sense, to be honest. Um, there's not a whole lot of value in getting a lot of the villages, so the engineer isn't that appealing. Um, I do get five on one of these turns. He is going for a tormentor. I think I'm going to try as well, although there's a, there is a bit of a collision potential here. He's had good... I guess his his salvager missed, but he did get a pretty okay draw. Or the turn three wasn't good, so not not ideal for him actually. Um, hopefully, we find the tormentor now, because imps are gonna be really nice. I could do canal, I guess. Now I can get an engineer. That'll make sense. Well, the question is, will it make more sense than just uh, buying a stables? That's going to be a little bit of a harder sell, to be honest. Probably it works out okay. I'm going to try it. We're a little over terminal at this point, but so he's just buys another stable. Like I like, I've liked his his choices really so far. Um, yeah, for me the engineer is just sort of a hard sell. Here I'm gonna go ahead and advance the salvager, get another imp. I guess I'm not going to advance it probably yet. Okay, I don't have... So I'm going to be attacking him if I do this. <laughs> Maybe better just to trash. I don't know how good the attacks are on average. Bad Omens doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. This deck does look pretty nice so far. I think Plaid is good. Hopefully we find one of these stables. If not, hopefully we find something. This was all great. Okay, this was quite fortunate. Uh, I was going to say that if I find the both of them but uh, they're both bottom decks so I do need at this point probably a workers village I would have preferred I think to go ahead and I could get an imp now locust is pretty not a big deal He's got the plats, which look pretty nice. Hmm. I can also toss a salvager. Research a salvager. This canal research synergy isn't 
doing me huge amounts of favors here. I can also get an imp, which apparently is what I decided to do. Okay, this is, I still feel okay just on the, the draw split. Um, feels like the game can last long enough that there's going to be uh, good value in that. Miserable is not doing really much for me. Uh, I could get the engineer now. That seems okay. Though it's of course of somewhat reduced value at this stage. Probably need to use it to get some tormentors. Probably the only way I'm going to have money here. The scary thing is he has this salvager, which means if he does green, he can green pretty fast. Um, so I would rather have his deck, <laughs> I think. Um, I'm not actually so sure about this very last engineer here, but. I'm going to be clean, but I'm going to have some troubles, I would say. Should be an imp. Um, okay, so. can't hit, I can hit, mm, oh I only have to hit 8, not 9 anyway, so if I just play the two Tormentors, I hit 8 for a plat. If I play one Tormentor and Salvage or Research, I hit 8. How much overdraw did I have? Just the one? So the Engineer's gone now, so. Um, we split the stables, actually. Well, we're going to play one Tormentor for sure. Maybe this doesn't help so much because of the Platinums. Um... I'm going to try it this way. I like double attacking them each turn if I can. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely with this stuff we can just get rid of these garbage cards. Well, one of them at least is pretty garbagey. Could go for the third. It feels like we probably want to be trashing a few more coppers. Thought about just going for the third. Uh, He did draw a deck here, so that was nice for him. 
Greed is not too bad for me. Let's see if he colonies here. I can live with that. I don't want to lose a salvager also. That would be bad. I got to keep the salvager for the for the sake of threatening um colony pileouts. You got to have that. That may be a little much depending on what I hit here with my tormentor hits. These buys may be a little much for him. I don't know though. We'll see. Um. So here we have a little overdraw still. Diluted probably doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, there's also, there's also building to eight buys as a possibility. Trying to think if I can afford the engineer now, actually. So it wouldn't be terrible to have an estate finish. It probably doesn't come to that, right? Um, what's the druid do? Yeah, I mean, you can get the buys with druid, but... An engineer wouldn't be the worst thing. I just don't know if I have the draw for it. I'm going to say not this turn. Okay, good. He misses there. Yeah, the golds are fairly underwhelming, I think, in my opinion. I love having these imps. For sure. Yeah, we were just at exact draw, so I'm glad I didn't put in the engineer. Yes, that's good. Okay, pretty big fan of the Tormentor situation at the moment. Um, if I empty these farmers' villages, how, or, sorry, farmers, if I empty these workers' villages, does he have any th plausible threat for piling out? How many buys does he have? He has two workers' villages and a salvager and an engineer, so if he draws... He could pile stuff. I can get four of them. And a colony. And if I draw, then I I just win. I can do the estates and the workers' villages. Um, assuming I don't get hit with a, a, a hex that prevents that, which is possible. Losing those is fine. There are more in the deck. Um, even if he double colonies, I think I still win. 
if I draw. He didn't even score, so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't feel like I did this one like super clean or anything, but it was uh, clean enough, I would say. Although I made dud here. My tormentors have been pretty pretty brutal. I could still leave a worker's village on bottom right. And in fact, I have a reasonable chance. Well, he got one of the worker's villages, so now it doesn't matter. I think it's guaranteed, but and you're going to Yeah, if you see all the stables, you're going to bottom deck us stables anyway, or not a stables, but a treasure of some sort, so it just doesn't, doesn't really matter. <coughs> the canal, when did he buy canal? Just now? Or he bought it at some point, but it was really late. Um, so, and in fact, I guess you can't even really bottom deck anything. Uh, okay. All right. That's a game. Uh, I'm going to play either Krillendi or Element Mario in the next set. Um, all right, so thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you later.